go, Stadium 2. And I'm pretty sure, well, I'm, I'm like 80% sure he's still Zelda. playing Zelda. We'll have to see, though. This is going to be like a very classic match, Mario and Zelda. Yeah, I thought it was still Zelda, because yeah, yeah, yeah. he's okay. been a, a leading Zelda since Smash 4. Mm -hmm. He did have like a Bayonetta and stuff every now and then, too. Um, but that was like in Smash 4. I don't know if he does that in uh, in Ultimate. But anyways, here we go. Yeah. Oh! Two of the latest not, Smash. Not, not Mario. Never mind. Paul Zena. Okay, got it. You know, of, of who, yeah. it's been a while, guys. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what he wants to do. <laughs> But yeah, definitely, uh, again, that's what I was talking about earlier. Uh, ben is definitely one of those players that is a, uh, a lower tier character rep uh, that plays at a very high caliber. Um, definitely a treat to see uh, up in uh, top 24. Uh, I love watching Ben, so this is uh, this is super cool. Zelda's a very, um, a very aggressive character with a, place, uh, a patient play style. Mm -hmm. I mean, basically, the name of the game is going to see all the different variations of the Ghost Knight coming out. Yeah. It's, it's like, because the way you can position yourself can really um, help with how you play the game here. So. Okay, aggressive uh, recovery. Okay, going to get a little around it. Forward throw. Off in for the, uh, the high DI for the Dim's Fire. Oh! Oh, unfortunate. Super uh, unfortunate. Yeah, and that, it looked like he tried to get something and then he had to got forced into a tech situation. Very unfortunate. So he's going to lose that stock. Louis, with the great uh, conversion into the down air, um, he take that opportunity to close that stock too. Yeah, but there's one thing I know about watching Ven. Uh, if Ven is in a state of disadvantage, you still can't count him out because he will pull out. Uh, just a slightly different variant of one of the traps he's used before just to kind of mix up your either uh, timing or placement. And he will take that stock, even it back out, just like that. Um, and you can never count uh, Zen out. Just like a fantastic display of Zelda's potential. Okay, the knight comes out. Gives himself a little bit of breathing time to really figure out what to do. Yeah, that was a really, really uh, good patience from Luis. Didn't budge. Ooh, he actually reflected the... Explosive Flame, I think. I think that's what actually got the damage because all of a sudden Luis at uh, 70%. Good parry. Uh, no conversion uh, due to that missed grab. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Takes him off stage. Gonna go for straight into the ledge. I totally forgot that you can act after in fire now. So I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. But I'll, that was my Smash 4 brain working. Sorry, folks. Okay. Both of these two, relatively high percent. Either one of these characters could really close it out here. It really depends on what we're looking for. Goes in with the neutral air. Okay, the explosive flame is going to be able to do it. I mean, that's one of those things where, you know, you can't you can mix up and space away your knight and then try and put pressure that way, but you can throw out an explosive flame and really call it out as well. So it really depends. Yeah, Luis uh, being super aggressive actually right then um, and just absolutely chasing Ben to the, uh, the top left last one. Ooh. Okay, I, th I thought that killed for a second. Um, so the sweet spot back here, not quite doing it either. He's gonna go for a throw, for a throw. Then fire. Oh. Actually caught the right uh, direction this time, but with the right air dodge. Not quite able to find anything. Ben yeah. really on the aggressive here. He's trying to kind of close out this stock before it gets uh, steamrolled into uh, instant lose here. Okay, let's see. I, I like what Lewis. Fishing for the downer. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Try to go so. for the downer. I, I like what Lewis was doing. He was trying, or Luis was doing. He was trying to really force Ben to make the decision there, but he went one down tilt too many, and then uh, Ben was able to sweet find the sweet spot. So unfortunate. Yeah, I think he was just trying to bait out Ben to overextend. Mm -hmm. Okay, jumps over to Zin's fire and uses the Nehru's love to be able to get around that. Looked like Luis was trying to go aggressive because he thought he had the recovery called out. Not quite though. Parry, down tilt, dash attack. Getting a decent amount of damage all of a sudden is tacking on. Gotta be a little bit careful if you're Luis here. Is one good hit could potentially spell oh, death here. That was so close actually. I didn't get the sweet spot. Yeah. Throwing out so many attacks. Ven slowly bringing this back actually. Yeah. 
Oh, up kill. Is that gonna kill? Yeah. Okay. Really? Mm -hmm. I was not expecting that to kill. That's that's difficult at Zelda because a lot of the time your out of shield options are just jump. You don't really have anything else besides that. Like jump and do an aerial or something like that and just hope for the best. But Zelda's not really great out of shield, so Louis doing a good job. Said, you know what? A low profile, use up kill. You're pretty much dead after that. Right. Okay, going to game two. Louise with the advantage here. Same stage too. Heading straight back to PS2. Alright, uh, can, can we get the scene? Alright, it's alright. Uh, <laughs> it's alright, we can see their beautiful faces while the match is going. Yeah, I well. guess so. Alright, well... Uh... <laughs> okay, goes in with the forward tilt. You can see our beautiful faces too, everybody. <laughs> Okay, goes for the back here. Can we get the scene change? Alright, goes in with a low recovery. Hey, Quan! Scene change. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, and we're back, everybody. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, Nehru's love goes right through it. Both of these two really relatively even game right now. Got of the ledge advantage here. I like what Ben was trying to do. He was trying to do that up air through the through the stage. Unfortunately, not didn't get anything out of it, but it put the thought into Luis's mind. Ooh, okay. Oh wow, actually taking the stock right there, man. Yeah, that that that, that sweet spot though is uh is pretty devastating. Yeah, and I, I love how consistent Ben is at getting that sweet spot. It's so difficult to get that. Whenever I whenever I play Zelda, well I'm a scrub, but when I play Zelda, I can never get it, and I always lose in that match. But loot. But then he always finds it. Uh, okay, got an air train. Only two, but yeah. uh, still a decent amount of damage. Brings it back to even, basically. Can we follow up with? I think he hit him with the down tail. Oh. Okay, gets the ghost. Or fa phantom, that's the word I'm yeah. looking for. Phantom. Phantom <laughs> Knight. Okay, calls out his jump. Fast attack comes in. Phantom Knight. Not able to do anything, but it gives them a little bit of time to try and think of a decision. He's not able to find anything that time around, though. And Luis is doing a, such a great job of facing that back air. He can't do anything out of shield, but that time, Ben adapted with the parry and was able to find a punish uh, accordingly off of that instead. Yeah, Ben with a slight lead here, um, but Luis is doing a very good job of avoiding a lot of these Phantom Knights and kind of dancing around um, what Ven's throwing out. But again, Sagoy Ven landing that uh, sweet spotted aerial, closing out that stock once more. Alright, the back air comes in. Wow, that was a really fast grab. Actually, it goes in there with the pivot grab. Yeah. Able to get some damage in there. Hey, we're looking at a potential game three. I mean, Ven doing a great job of just letting himself, you know, not get caught by any of um, more difficult setups here. Yeah, a little ambitious there, going for that Phantom setup that close, eating the damage, but we'll see if uh, Ven can get Luis back off stage. Back throw is not going to kill, uh, but puts Ven in an interesting situation. Back here to close it out? Nope. Oh my gosh, another critical hit. Yeah. Oh! oh into the Phantom Knight. That actually does it. Yeah, okay. wow. Yeah. We are going to see a game three. At uh, that time, Ben actually able to find all of his setups that time around to be able to close out his stocks. The first game, it looked like uh, Luis was doing a better job of keeping Ben in disadvantage and not able to find anything. I think Luis got a little bit overly ambitious um, with some of his edge guard attempts with like his up smash and stuff. That really cost him his stock, and you don't really want to give Zelda free stuff. Uh, to work with. Yeah, absolutely. That time around, though, also Ben was getting those punishes a lot easier, too, though. So it's a little bit of both, I think. But we're going to Town and City, I think, for our third game. Let's see how both of these players work this out. Okay, here we go. I feel like this is going to be like ledge camp of the game. <laughs> with how much mobility <laughs> yeah. both of these two have here. Ooh, try to find a read there. But he's gonna get a grab. Or he's gonna go get the sweet spot. 
magic percent right here. Let's see what he can get. So it's an instant 70% like the first like 12 seconds of the match mm -hmm. from Zelda. That's crazy. Yeah. Now, all of a sudden, Ben is doing an amazing job of calling. Oh! Yeah, not enough okay. damage for uh, <laughs> the knockback to kill, uh, but that definitely was a spooky situation. Yeah, I, I, got, I got scared for Ben for a second. But I think Ben is doing a great job of... Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh -oh. Okay, yeah, down smash. Yeah, he's going to eat a smash attack for that one. Mm -hmm. Very smart of Louise to go for the down smash, just in case he didn't catch or read the drift correctly. So, very good stuff. Grab. Oh, okay. Missed the grab, but the roll uh, forced to take the damage. Yeah, very, covered by the Phantom Knight. Very great stuff. Oh, another stock closed out to that critical hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just out of shield, uh, Ven is able to find it more often this time around. Man, I, the, the, <laughs> Zelda's one of those characters that like has, uh, I guess, kind of like the feel and like audio cue for like those special, or not special, those sweet spots that just sound so good when you when they when they get hit. Mm -hmm. I love the sound of those aerials uh, right. hitting. Yeah, oh it's very God. satisfying for sure. Back air gonna be able to close it out, even game. Yeah, all the time when we've seen a game three, it's pretty much always, uh, always dead even, pretty much. So, well, let's see. Okay, has him at the ledge here. What's he gonna go for? Okay, neutral air train to the forward air. Ben's doing a good job of uh, timing these. Yeah, he's calling each one of those out, and like he's perfectly timed the. Uh, Woo! That was a. That was a very ambitious force match, but he's actually able to get an early stock because of it. Now Ven is the one in a very tough spot. Oh, but he catches them. Louise trying to be a little bit uh, cheeky with the platform there, but uh, Ven says, nope, you're getting hit. Yeah, and again, he just can't quite count Ven out. He always has some sort of trick up his sleeve, but Luis is definitely putting a... We're getting a lot of momentum, putting on a lot of damage right here. Oh my gosh, okay. that trade. Uh, well, not terrible, not favorable at all for Ven. Almost at 100% now. He's got to close out this stock and then chip away at the next one and be safe. I like that attempt with the fourth match. He tried to call out oh, a great call out. dodge, but yeah, going to catch him in the air with the up air. Ven can really make something happen here. He's not too far behind all of a sudden now that he's got that stock. Yeah, it's still very, very, very doable. Um, but it just, oh, he's in such a state of disadvantage. One down south the back air, one grab, yeah, the back is gonna be it. Yeah, um, very tough spot to be in. It looked like those empty hops were really scaring Ben. He didn't really know what to do out of that. And Luis kind of take it with the back air, kind of close out that stock and yeah. that game. Uh, very fantastic display though from Ben. Always, always a pleasure to watch. He's one of my favorite, uh, definitely one of my favorite players. Mm -hmm. I know that, that Ben probably wanted to, you know, make it further in, in the bracket, but you know what? Still great showing. Uh, from, from Ven, gonna go ahead and uh, Luis is gonna be moving into top eight. And oh, we got Myron. Okay, let me see. That's really funny how Myron has his name on his mask. <laughs> so does Ned over here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's kind of funny. Anyways, let me see. Okay, so oh, Myron's gonna be playing Dom actually. So we're gonna be getting uh, that match as well. Dom back. Okay. Yeah. Who sent Myron to losers? Uh, Kurama. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I do not see Dom, though. Yeah. Oh, oh here we go right now. Okay, okay. 